Hello, myself Rahul Kumar Sharma. In this video, I am going to deal with the topic Foundation for Bridges. The learning objectives of this videos are as follows. To understand function of foundation in bridges. To understand types of foundation. To understand deep foundation, especially pile foundation. Content of this videos are as follows. Introduction, pile, fun, pile foundation. Classification of pile foundation. Let us go through the definition of foundation. Foundation is a part of structure which are in direct contact with the ground and transfer the load to the below strata. There are two types of foundation, shallow foundation and deep foundation. In the shallow foundation, depth of foundation is less than or equal to the width of foundation. And in deep foundation, it is considered that depth of foundation is greater than the width of foundation. So the very first type of the deep foundation is pile foundation. So let us study the pile foundation in detail. When the soil at or near the ground surface is not capable of supporting a structure, then deep foundation are required to transfer the load to deeper strata. The most common type of deep foundation are piles, piers, caissons. A deep foundation is generally much more than a shallow foundation. It should be adopted when shallow foundation is not feasible. Let us go through the necessity of a pile foundation. When the strata at or just below the ground surface is highly compressible and very weak to support the load transmitted by the structure. And when the plan of the structure is irregular relative to its outline and load distribution. It would cause non-uniform settlement if shallow foundation is constructed. A pile foundation are required for transmission of structural load through deep water to a firm stratum. And pile foundation are commonly used to resist the horizontal forces. So wherever there are possibility to have the lateral forces acted upon the building, then in such a cases, pile foundations is very useful. So let us go through some examples where the pile foundation can be useful. So let us take an example of this bridge pier. So here under this bridge pier, you may see the vertical piles are there and some piles are inclined one. So as we can, as we can see here, over that pier, there is a truss and through this truss, a traffic load will move. Suppose some lateral loads is acted upon the pier. Then to counterbalance this lateral loads, this batter piles are provided. And to counterbalance the vertical downward loads, the vertical piles are there. So this is how piles are very useful in transmission of load to deeper stratum. Let us go through the classification of piles. The piles which we use in construction are classified according to different bases. The first basis is material use. Second is the mode of transfer of load. Third is the method of construction. Fourth is the use for what purpose the pile is used. Fifth is the displacement of the soil. Let us try to understand classification according to the material use. If the piles is made up of steel material, then it is called as a steel pile. So similarly, a concrete piles and timber piles and composite piles may be there. A composite piles can be made up of combination of two or more different materials. Let us try to understand the classification based on the mode of load transfer. If the load which is acted upon the pile, if that load is get transferred by the end of the pile, by the tip of the pile, then such a type of pile is called as end bearing pile. But sometimes it may not be necessary that you will have a hard stratum very near to the ground surface, right? Then in such a cases, pile transfers loads by the skin friction alone. Such a type of pile is called as a friction pile. So here is the example of a friction pile. 
So her stratum is very very far from the tip of the pile. In such a cases, the load is get carried by the skin friction alone. Then there is another type that is called combined end bearing and friction pile. In this category, the load is transferred by the tip of the pile, by the end of the pile, as well as by the skin friction. Now let us try to understand classification based on the method of installation. Pile have to be installed in the ground and there are n number of ways to install that piles in the ground. So let us try to understand what do you mean by driven piles. These piles are driven into soil by applying a blows of heavy ha hammer on their top. Second is the driven and cast in situ pile. In this piles are formed by driving a casing and then later filled with the concrete. Third is the bore, bore and cast in situ pile. This pile are formed by excavating a hole into ground and then filling it with concrete. Next is the jack pile. These piles are jacked into the soil by applying a downward force with the help of a hydraulic jack. Let us try to understand how driven piles works. Let us consider this is the vertical pile and this is the very heavy hammer. And by giving a number of blows at the top of the pile, this pile may be driven into a ground surface to a required depth. By this animation, let us try to understand how the mechanism of a driven pile works. So these are the different components. So this is a pile at the bar, at the at the end. Here it is a piston, and this piston may be lifted up by sending a compressed air into the chamber. So this is a picture of a bore pile. So here you can observe there is a auger. There are there are blades over that vertical shaft. And when this driven or it is when that auger get penetrated into ground, it create a hole in the ground. And that hole later may be filled by the reinforced concrete. So here is the picture, by this picture you may understand how hole can be created with the help of auger and then how a steel case is put into that hole and that later it will be filled by the concrete. On my, on the right hand side you may see the hydraulic jack. Now let us try to understand the classification of pile based on the use. If the pile it is used to transfer the load, then it is called as a load bearing pile. If the piles are driven into the ground surface just to compact the soil surrounding it, then it is called as a compaction pile. If the piles installed in the ground, if it is have the purpose to carry the tension, then it is called as a tension pile. Or sometimes pile may be provided in the form of sheet. Then it is called as a sheet piles. Or fender piles may be used as a part of fencing at a marine areas. Then anchor piles may be used to counterbalance the uplift force acts on the structure. Now let us try to understand the classification based on the displacement of the soil. So as we have gone through the driven pile concept and bore pile concept, so let me explain what is the basic difference between the driven and bore pile. In a driven pile, we allow the heavy hammer to fall at the top of the pile and because of that, 
file get driven into the soil and when the file is getting driven into the soil the soil surrounding it files surrounding to the circumference of a pile get compressed or get compacted and get displaced then such a pile is called as a displacement pile but in case of a bore pile we allow auger to cut the soil and create a hole into a ground surface without displacing a soil surrounding it then such a pile, such a concept or bore pile can be considered as a non displacement pile thank you